good happy Thursday morning, March 17, 2022. I'm Riley King. Welcome to this Thursday morning news update right here on the Riley King Radio Network. Let's begin with your morning news update right now on the Riley King Radio Network. I hope you all enjoy. First step, New Hampshire State Police warn Granite Staters not to drink and drive on St. Patrick's Day. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9. St. Patrick's Day arrives at midnight and law enforcement urging Granite Staters not to drink and drive. State, county, and local police are teaming up now to crack down on impaired drivers. At a news conference today, Beth Shaw spoke on her 20-year-old son who was killed by an impaired driver four years ago. She says, if you're planning to drink, find a sober driver to bring you home. Words fail to adequately express the impact Tyler's death on, has had on us. Our lives have truly been shattered. Our family will never be whole again. Police say special patrols focused on catching drunk drivers will continue even after St. Patrick's Day. Okay, there you go on that video and that report. New Hampshire woman killed in boating incident in Florida. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9. A 22-year-old woman from Nashua has died after a boating incident in Florida. Florida Fish and Wildlife say Lindsay Partridge went overboard while just off the Boca Raton Inlet. She was in the boat with a man from Manchester. The cause of her death is under investigation. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. AG office identifies trooper in Walpole shooting. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9. Right now, the Attorney General's office has identified the state trooper involved in a shooting in Walpole in February as Trooper Noah Sanctuary. The AG's office is investigating the circumstances of the shooting. It happened after police responded to a domestic violence call. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Man killed in motorcycle crash in Goffstown. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9. And tonight, a man is dead after he crashed his motorcycle in Goffstown. This happened around 2.40 this afternoon on Elm Street near Cedar. No other vehicles were involved, but the road was closed for about two hours. Police say the investigation is ongoing. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report, and that does it for your morning news update right here on the Riley King Radio Network. Thank you for tuning in and listening. Have a great day, everyone, and goodbye.